Hello everyone, my name is Oksana Bihun. Welcome to the channel on the self-care for the body, mind and spirit. In this video, we are going to discuss a reflection on the Bible readings for the second Sunday of Advent. So let us begin with reading the scriptures for the second Sunday of Advent. The reading is from the book of the prophet Baruch. Jerusalem, take off your robe of mourning and misery. Put on the splendor of glory from God forever. Wrapped in the cloak of justice from God, bear on your head the mitre that displays the glory of the eternal name. For God will show all the earth your splendor. You will be named by God forever, the peace of justice, the glory of God's worship. Up, Jerusalem, stand upon the heights, look to the east and see your children gathered from the east and the west, at the word of the Holy One, rejoicing that they are remembered by God. Led away on foot by their enemies, they left you. But God will bring them back to you, borne aloft in glory as on royal thrones. For God has commanded that every lofty mountain be made low, and that the age-old depths and gorges be filled to level ground, that Israel may advance secure in the glory of God. The forests and every fragrant kind of tree have overshadowed Israel at God's command, for God is leading Israel in joy by the light of His glory, with His mercy and justice for company. The Word of the Lord. So, as I mentioned in the previous reflections, which are linked in the description down below, um, these reflections are produced during the Lectio Divina prayer. So, the Lectio Divina prayer consists in uh, reading the scriptures and meditating on a particular passage or phrase or even just one word that st steered us. So for me, the phrase that's, that steered me was the following. For God has commanded that every lofty mountain be made low and that the age-old depths and gorges be filled to level ground, that Israel may advance secure in the glory of God. So I was attracted to this uh, notion of being able to advance securely in the glory of God. And uh, I realized that sometimes what prevents us from being able to advance securely in the glory of God is the dent to our self-esteem, uh, the trauma that we have experienced in our lives uh, due to lack of love or wrongdoings that we have sustained from other people. And uh, another aspect of our personality that may prevent us from uh, advancing securely in the glory of God is our pride. So pride may arise when we intend to compensate to compensate for the uh, insecurity and trauma that we have experienced. Uh, but instead, the depths of the trauma and the, of the, our insecurities and of our low self-esteem, they may feel even deeper because we look at them from the 
mountain of our pride. So pride is not the answer to dealing with insecurity and trauma. And only God can feel the depths and the gorges in our soul created by trauma, by the deficit of love. And in order for us to be able to allow God to feel these depths and gorges, we need humility. So we become humble when we allow for this uninteresting landscape, when we, love, when we let go of the drama. Because indeed, sometimes we even travel to places that have high mountains and uh, age-old depths and gorges. So in terms of landscapes, it seems like an interesting landscape, right? So, but when we allow God to feel inside our soul, to feel the, the old age, all depths and the gorges and to level the mountains, we become level and so that landscape may seem even boring to us. And so to allow for that, we need humility. Humility uh, in the sense that we allow ourselves to be uninteresting to our own selves. We let go of the drama. And so coming back to this phrase, advance securely in the glory of God, we realize that humility is in centering on God's glory. So advance secure, securely in the glory of God. So we center on God's glory instead of our, on our, ourselves. And this is what allows God to fill out the gorges of our trauma and uh, to lower the mountains of our pride. Our humility, when we center on God's glory instead of ourselves, this is when the landscape inside of our soul can be leveled into a straight path toward God. And so what I found difficult was sitting vulnerably with God and asking her to level the landscape of my soul to feel the depths and the gorges created by trauma and lower the mountains of my pride. This is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this sharing. I would love to hear how this reading has touched you. Maybe uh, you were touched by a different phrase. Uh, please share that in the comments. Please put a like to this video ring a bell and subscribe to this channel. And I look forward to connecting with you through these videos again. Thank you. Bye.